Good afternoon everybody, welcome once again to the canal, very cold Grand Union Canal. Um, it's about 10 degrees today, pretty chilly, pretty nippy, you can probably hear there's a bit of a breeze. What I've done this afternoon, it's about 5 o'clock now, I've come this afternoon to fish into dusk for some Xander. That's the plan, I'm going to have a bit of a roving session, just got a tiny little bit of kit with me, uh, and as I say I'm going to have a wander about, see if we can't pick up some Xander perhaps under bridges, near some cover, that sort of thing I'm thinking. Canal looks good, it's about six or eight inches of visibility, something like that, so there's a little bit of visibility but it's reasonably coloured. It's a bit windy, it's a bit choppy, uh, that's probably helping put a bit of colour in the canal because the boats are still not allowed to move at the moment, unless it's an emergency for you know water, toilets etc, but that'll all change this weekend. Um, what shall I say? Uh, Monday I think it changes so rods what I've got with me are my John Wilson barbel quivers perfect pan three quarter test curve perfect for a bit of zander fishing down the canal as you can probably see I'm going to fish the float <laughs> got these rather garish floats um, reason I've got these is you can actually illuminate the top so when I fish into dark I can connect the battery up in there and that will uh, that will be glowing away. I found them, used them in the past and found them a little bit bright but <laughs> we'll see how we get on today. Um, but that's the reason for those rather garish floats. Uh, I'm going to fish on the float ledger. Um, as you see I've got an olivet there, that will just sit on the bottom. Float has just stopped, with some float stops, the olivet will sit on the bottom. And I've got a Drennan soft strand trace with a circle hook on. Details of all this stuff will be down below in the uh, description. <laughs> Right, as we're running out of light fairly quickly, I think I'm going to get this set up. I'm going to run, use two rods, uh, and we're just going to sort of leapfrog them along stretches of cover, like we certainly, well, we had here, but we don't have here anymore. The uh, CRT, I think, have been along with their strimmers and uh, right, and uh, chopped it all down. But there's a little bit left here, so I'm going to start here. Some boats further along, and also uh, some entrances to marinas, etc. We can have a go at. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get these rods uh, set up and we'll uh, we'll crack on. As you can see, very obvious looking bit of cover behind me. And uh, I've put a couple of baits next to it. I did actually see a Xander attack here when we were float fishing a couple of sessions ago. And uh, yeah, I did see a Xander attack over here, so I know there's some around. Fingers crossed, we can, uh, <laughs> we can, we can have a few out anyway be nice. I've seen a couple of Xander attacks along here at dusk. So yeah it'd be interesting to see see what happens. It's actually a boat coming already, believe it or not. As I say they're not really supposed to be moving but they clearly uh someone's having an emergency. So I'll have to get these baits in quickly but as much as they are a total pain in the backside when you're doing a bit of silvers fishing and a bit of float fishing. They're not too bad. When you're Xander fishing it can often stir stir the Xander up a little bit when they're moving. 
Should mention baits. I'm using dead baits today. Uh, I've got smelt and I've got roach. <laughs> so I should keep, keep it very simple. One on each. Smelt on one rod. Roach on the other rod. Not sure what this boat's doing, whether he's still moving or whether he's more or not. He's still coming, I think. Yeah, not, not necessarily going to be a bad thing. With him going through. But yeah, we'll give it maybe 20 minutes in each spot and then we'll move. I'll give it a bit longer here. Perhaps we'll give it half an hour or so here, just in next to this bit of cover. And as I've had since then, but here will be probably about a week ago. Do the water temperature in a minute as well, just to see what we're, we're looking at. So, um, I think it's still pretty cold. We're having a very cold night. It's a frost the other night. Still reasonably cold at the moment. We're going to carry on having some colder nights next week, but it's just supposed to be getting Monday, Tuesday. It's going to be well up in double figures, you know, 16, 18 degrees. So uh, I'm not sure that'll help. It certainly probably help the fish do, do a bit of spawning. I don't think they've spawned yet. But we'll see. Looking forward to catching a Xander. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to catch one. Not sure what this guy's doing. Whether he is going to park up or... Got to take him. This one goes off across the canal. The looks of it. <laughs> yeah. Let go of it. <laughs> well, they're here. Well, guys, that's a good sign. Oh, yeah. As I wind down, also, I'm not striking because I've got circle hooks on. But as I wind down, I did feel the fish. <laughs> it didn't feel very big. Uh, just for a second. And then I felt what I thought was a hook pulling out of the... Uh, pulling out of the fish or the bait coming in coming out of the fish but uh, the hook actually pulled out of the bait so uh, he's had a free meal but there's clearly some there which is fantastic gives you a bit of confidence as well it's great to see that float just start to chug across the canal <laughs> Can't imagine he's down there on his own. That was on smelt as well. One on roach, one on smelt. It's about the time now, with the sun, that sun getting lower in the sky, where you expect the Xander to start moving. Start 
coming out for the hunt. We'll give it another few minutes here anyway before we have a wander off. We can always come back. Well guys, I suspected, not very big at all, but hey, it's a Xander. <laughs> Brilliant. We'll give it another five minutes here, I think, and then we'll uh, get off up there. I think there's a, there's a row of boats and certainly one bigger boat, a bit more cover as well. So we'll, we'll get off up there and we'll, we'll try up there and we'll give it five minutes. So I'm going to lose the light soon. It's not a major problem. As I say, we've got lights on the floats right guys I'll move up here a little way I think a lot of cover been hacked down here, unfortunately, but uh, cut the boats along here, one on my side, a bit of cover on the other side. A really big boat, it doesn't look it gets moved very often, so we're gonna have a try on there, I think. Well guys, I'm going to walk the other way up the towpath now from where I'm parked. So um, just as I was coming back past this bush, I couldn't resist giving it another five or ten minutes in here just to see if we can't pick up a bigger one. So yeah, we'll give it we'll give it five or ten minutes in here before we uh, we get off up further up the other side of where I've parked. I'll have a walk down that way. <laughs> 
it's glowing away. <laughs> it's actually, um, aside from the cover being here, it's a good, good point to, to ambush anything that comes up and down the, the canal. If there's any fish moving, because uh, it's very, very narrow with that bush on the other side. I'm not sure why they've cut all the rest of it and not that bit. But, um, yeah, it's very, very narrow, barely a rod length across to there. It's perhaps maybe 15 foot. That's all. So, you know, if there are any fish moving up and down, it is a great ambush spot here. We just give it five or ten minutes, I think, and then I'll move on. <laughs> well, we're away, guys. This close in rod. <coughs> Really big bait on, so I'll give it a minute. Before. <laughs> oh. Well, there we go. <laughs> well, there we are, guys. The tiny little Xander. About a pound. <laughs> I would think something like that. <laughs> Great stuff. It's just got dot. Just about seven o'clock. I think it's time for a move. <laughs> it's clearly a, a shoal of small ones in the swim. Lovely job. Well, guys, as you can see, I'm back at the car. I worked my way out and worked my way back again. Uh, I've tried five or six different spots. As you probably see, the wind's picked up as well. Um, but nothing doing, nothing at all. Not, not had another knock, but I've had a couple of Xander, albeit small ones. Um, but, you know, I've opened my account for the year, so I'm happy about that. And it's a stretch I hadn't Xander fished before. So, as I say, happy, really happy with that. Now, the weather, as, as you can probably hear it's windy it's going to be windy the next few days and it is going to warm up early next week as well so I shall endeavour to get out early next week and that's probably going to be my next next chance to get out but until then thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed that tight lines enjoy your own angling many thanks to the channel patrons and I'll see you all again very soon